uh, you can see what's going on right now. Basically, the button opened. Um, uh, he, he's opening the button. He's been playing very tight. Uh, and the flop comes sick, and I, I decided to call pre the ace nine, which I think is probably close to the bottom of my calling range. I think folding would also probably have been okay because of how tight this guy has literally been playing, but uh, a guy playing this tight is probably still opening the button reasonably wide, uh, just as most people do. So the flop comes king eight six, and I have an over card and a backdoor flush draw, and uh, so I do check this flop to him, and he does bet. Uh, and he bets four into uh, four into six, 65. So <laughs> the guy's been playing pretty tight. Uh, so I think that unless he has a really strong hand here, he's probably just going to fold to a raise. Now, maybe he does. I don't really expect him to fold a king. But I do think he could fold a hand as good as uh, a pair between eights and kings. And uh, that most of the time... He just doesn't have very much here. Since we don't have any history and I've been playing tight myself, I think it just seems like a spot where here's a guy who's playing pretty weak uh, and he gets shown strength from a guy who also has been playing fairly tight at that table. Uh, I have some, some, I do have the nut flush draw, uh, uh, the backdoor nut flush draw, so there's several turn cards that I can continue to barrel. Also, I can barrel like a seven or an ace. So this, that's basically my plan here. If I was to get raised here, I'm just going to fold. Uh, and if I get, um, and if he calls, uh, if he calls my, my flop raise, you know, then I'm only going to barrel those specific turn cards, and I'm, I'm going to shut it down on, on any other one. So I do make a raise here. I raise to 11, and he folds. So even though he's been playing pretty tight, it just seems like a spot that I'm going to tend to get a lot of credit and that he would have to have a pretty strong hand to continue. So as you can see here, he bet with, uh, he, he did open with a wide range, 6-4 of spades. He did bet this flop as a C-bet, and we check-raised him, and we're, we were able to get him to fold a hand better than ours. So again, I think it is uh, quite a valuable educational tool to use the complete information that we